no woman will make it to the paradise until in the until until she gives the rights of her husband even if he invites her for consummation of intimate relationship even if she is on top of cooking in oven in another hadith one ala qatabin she is on top of the camel she has to go and answer him and here who you are man i have my rights i don't feel it that's it who you are try me and you'll see what happens husband goes running to another room and she thinks this she is going to go to jannah because of this now rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam has said that any woman who refuses her husband min ghairi ma ba for without any reason la'anat al malaika hatta tasbah the angels they curse her till morning aw hatta hiya turdi zawjaha until she comes and makes her husband get pleased when allah said the rijal qawamun ala nisa the men in simple language al qawama al qawama has many meanings meaning they have the upper hand on women one eye are saying women have upper hand on men no it cannot be it's fitra it's mother nature rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam he does not allow which means this is islam for a woman to spend from the earnings of her husband without his permission also there are sahih hadith that if a woman she has her, her own wealth she is not allowed to spend it without the permission without discussion from the husband now this may not go easily to women but this is what rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said if it is indicating to anything then it does show the kind of respect which a woman should hold for her husband some even the scholars i won't say so called scholars many are scholars when they go in the west world and they start to defend rights of women in islam rights of wives in islam they have the full right to do this and that and then they make it so big the woman this and woman that and woman that and you know what happened of that they forget the true essence if it is so much as you are promoting why is this hadith here why there has to be an element of control there has to be an element of responsibility and answering to others i never ask my wife and say no don't spend this no i never do those things never but the thing is that she knows that i am the boss of the house that if i say no it is no she may come and discuss with you there is nothing wrong in that but the moment if she starts to feel i am the one with money and i can do whatever i want and this is the starting point of things which are far west and yes a woman is not allowed to talk to any stranger for no reason this is not being extreme the beautiful clothes which you bought for 7 800 dollars in eid ul fitr you saw it when she went to eat sawaya and all those dishes after that you never saw it but her girlfriends and others have been looking at it every time because you bought it for enjoyment but unfortunately it is for other people's eyes This is what the problem is, and then she is all sweaty, all smelling. If he gets near to you, he gets suffocated because you are not even ready for him. And the smell of onions, the smell of garlic, the smell of everything. The entire house is also smelling. And if you are wearing clothes which may be of cotton, the smell goes inside even deeper. With the winter clothes, it is even worse. What is this? You expect your husband to be good with you? Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said. if one of you your, uh, your husband if he has pus right from the head to the foot and if a woman she goes and licks it and this hadith is sahih you would not have fulfilled the rights of that husband 